Alright, hey there ladies and gentlemen. This is Hellplast doing some uh, Guild Wars 2. This is uh, Treasures of Lion's Arch Part 2. We just completed the small treasure area which is right here as you can see by the polka dots that I have traveled. And now we're down here by the uh, Far Shore Ward at the Far Shore Waypoint. And we are going to make our way to basically a little bit past this vista here. Now on the way you will get this viewpoint and the vista. Let's head out. Go up the little staircase right here. Immediately turn right. And then turn right again around the bushes. And well, the I think of Guild Wars 2 is a pretty good game, you know, it's only a couple of days old, three days old right now, I think. For, for most people, I had the pre-launch, and that was really nice, I got the level up a little bit, and that was kind of nice, and I haven't really had that much time to play it anyways, but uh, we go up, you go up this little really steep area, you might get stuck on a few places like this, so you just want to jump up here, hug the right, go through this bush, go to the left, way left, go through the hole, come up into this little open area here, go around the rock, rock go up this really cool kind of staircase thing, jump up on top, jump on these rocks, jump on that rock, jump over here, you'll see this little platform, you can view it from here. And if you can jump there, you get this viewpoint. We are merely 5% of the way there. <laughs> okay, this that is where we're going. Right there. Alright. So now, I really wish I could... Whoa, fucking... Jesus. Sorry. Um... Yeah. I think... Am I stuck, really? Okay, no. Okay. Now, what I did the first time, I just... When I ex found out, I just did this just for the hell of it. Like, I was expecting to die and whatnot. But now, after going through this once and saying, Oh my god, I'm sorry teammates, I'm letting you down because we were just exploring Lion's Arch and I'm the only one that had enough balls to go down here. But anyways, what you want to do, you want to slide. Oh, see, fuck, talking mushrooms. Try that again. Yeah, see, I mean, if you can, if you can make the drop, you're golden. Unless there's someone already down there that can revive you, which I had to do for about 20 people. Because I was, I had made it down there the first time, and I was like, oh hell yeah! And then I look behind me, and it's just dead bodies, literally falling, like dead Azura and Savari humans, and more char. I was like, what the hell? But I think you have to jump as you're falling or something. Or maybe hug the right, because I mean, as you, you take fall damage, this it's a huge it's a huge fall, and that's like the that's the second big fall that you have. That's the first of like three huge jumps that you have to do, and all the jumps are like if you're off by just like that much, you're dead, and it's like literally like a 10 second free fall. All right, um. Tim, well, for me so far, I got that one really uh, cool uh, socket thing in my bottom. What, what, whatever you garnet thingy in my bottom. I don't know what you call it. Eh. Eh. Okay. Okay. Don't die. Yes. Okay, made it. Thank God. All right. Now you drop down into this room, you can see a really cool skeleton. Now, since there's not that many people here, you jump over here. Go up here. Go into the freaky purple room. And there it whoa. Here's dialogue. Basically, you follow this little ghostly guy, and he'll 
show you the way out. Basically, right? Well, I'm not really going to follow him, but because he's really slow and he loses his way a lot. And go up here. Looks like a dead end, but it's really not. La 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 la. This way. All right. If you want to escape behind your feet. Bear with me now, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a long. Uh, oh. Usually, sometimes walls get torches on them. You can, believe it or not, actually phase through them. But not that corner. Okay. Let's see now. Go out the back way the here. Now this walk rock seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Damn it! Can't go through it. Man, trolling me, game. Hey, gracious ones! Cause you Maybe you have to wait to block. Are you laughing? You can't go through this wall. Come on. Got a sleeping blue ectoplasm. Maybe you trigger something that I don't know. Come on. Wait, I can do I can I can make this guy go faster. I could outrun a centaur. Okay, that's a dead end. Oh, there we go. Alright. Are you late, tired yet? Now. Oh, look! It's the first thing she remains at the first thing. Now, we go left here because old Shane has six goals. Look at this, it's a dead end. Must have been six left Go ahead, hit me. Where are you going, buddy? Come on, show me the way. Brother. Come on. Like, I know the way, it's just like you have to wait for his thing. There we go. Okay, now. Let's go have some fun. Wait. There it is. Sorry. Okay. Wait for the dude. Go through the wall. Right. You go this way. Now, this is where I got lost. Took me forever. Now, it looks like it's just gonna be kind of a dead end, right? Well, if you look closely here, and if I'm the one that's going to first, which I don't think I am, you have to jump on top of these rocks. And then go up here. Unless that we start way to hell down there. Go up the staircase. Go through the dungeon. These spikes will push you over or knock you down and you do damage and if you do run this down through me up you will die and have to start this mission all over again and we just keep on rolling through here that will cause damage and just oh that was a laggy freaking jump oh my god what is happening Alright, I am dreadfully sorry. Once again, I have found out that I had like 203 gigabytes of useless bullcrap saved. So, here we are again. Alright, um, I, hopefully, I didn't, uh, start too far ahead. Hopefully, I'm just in this one corner. And, we are here again. Watch out for spikes. Obviously, they cause bleeding and they push you down like other try and get through them fast as possible without draining too much of your endurance not like you need it just in case as I'm you can see that they are a pain in the ass so anyways we take a left here opens up into that gigantic room again got a little waterfall going over our head again now we go to our right here 
now you're like, well, what the hell do we do? Do we jump down into the water? Like, who fall or fall, or do we just jump right there? Neither. You jump onto this platform and then jump over here. Jump again and you go along this sidewall here. Go along this cliff and as if you haven't noticed, this is the beginning of the cave that we start from originally. Turn to the right here. We have some more. Your survival okay. is subject to you. Now you will notice this room is OMG black. Now, the first time I went through here, I was like, what the hell? What do I do? So I turned up my gamma and whatnot and I cheated a bit. But now I noticed that there's a torch. Oh, um, their torch. Yes. Awesome. Okay, now if we get their torch. Jump up here. Oh, you're supposed to go right there, sorry. Come on. I am sorry you can't see this. Right, this? Should make a little bit more light here. You know, maybe we can. Let's, let's uh, tamper with our settings again. Oh, Gamma, let's crank that up a bit. Yeah. Alright. Now you can kind of see where I need to go. Right here. Thank you, dude. Right here. Now, if you look at this room, you're like, oh my god, how will I ever tra traverse this without the torch? Well, you probably will never unless you have a really good sense of direction and really oh no oh okay, memory <laughs> now this is how dark it is with just normal gamma this room is freaking crazy and it took me forever to get to oops point zero zero enter yeah you can't even see my freaking character so options sound let's just put that there what was it there's like oopsie I think 8-2, that's good. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be crapping me. Oh. Damn it. Alright, start again. Son of a crack it Back to normal gamma. Options. Yeah. Okay. Now we jump through this face again, hoping to guy we don't bring it down. All right. You do have to go a little bit forward on your free fall so that we don't run into. The wall there. Now once we're here, you want to swim around in circles until you die. No. You want to... Where is it? There it is. Sorry. And we go this way. You come out of your little room, you turn left. Opens up into this room. Pretty nice looking, huh? Pretty beautiful. Got your cat. What's its face? Let's get the treasure first. Not 
That's nice. I don't even need that. You dicks. Alright, let's talk to the captain. He may have found the treasure, but he'll never escape this chamber to spend it. <laughs> oh, you brought a deck of cards. Starvation takes a while. <laughs> Yeah, wrap your ass off. Alright, well, you think, like, where the hell am I going to go? So, I spent, like, 15 minutes trying to get up this thing and up on here and talking to everyone. Like, where the hell do we go and going behind this pedestal and whatnot? And what I failed to see what was right in front of me. A hole in the wall. Jump through the hole in the wall. Go up through here. Take a little left. Dialogue from the captain. You go up to here, and there is a hello stranger karma vendor for level 40 weapons, which is pretty cool. Special weapons. Skins, Pirate, Crook, Cutlass, Brazier, Flintlock, Slayer, Poppet, Bloodletter, Hatchet, Boomstick, Billy, Pirate, Google, Until we meet right? again. And we just continue through here. Opens up into a nice little waterfall. And, a waterfall. And that's the end of the dungeon. You never know. That is the path. It takes you from me here to here, up through here, up around here, up, down, and around, and bullshit, shit, shit, here you are. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Splash. Alright. This is Hell Pass. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Treasures of Lion's Arch. Hopefully I can find some more if you guys got any uh, treasures that you want to uh, have me take a look at and record or whatever. Please feel free to do so. This is Hell Pass. Thanks for watching Gamers Fast Track. Peace.